Hi, this is Dave Vellante, the Wikibon Project here with uh, Silicon Angle's coverage of the EMC Mega Launch. This is uh, this is day m minus one. This is the day before the event, and uh, there's a big analyst meeting uh, here today. There must be I don't know 60 analysts or so, and I'm here right now with Chuck Hollis. Hey, Chuck, how are you doing? Hey, good to see you. It was great to see you. Uh, Always good to see you at an so EMC event. I didn't know you're going to be here. I understand you're going to be in London too. So uh, all we, good. We've got the entourage, and uh, and we're following this like a blanket as we usually do yep. in Silicon Angle, as you know. So a lot of analysts in there. I don't know. Like I say, 60 or 70. Big room full. We heard Tucci this morning. Uh, we heard Gelsinger, and uh, we're going to hear a bunch of customers Sujal this afternoon. We heard from. Sujal, we had Sujal yep. on the cube. So, um, I want to talk about big data. So do I. All right, great. So tell us in your, in, in your excellent style. Cut, boil it down for us. Simplify us. What does big data mean for customers? Big data is a change of perspective, at least in my mind, from lots of data is a problem to lots of data is an opportunity. Um, as costs go down, as capacities go up, we're finding that more and more people realize, hey, I can take enormous amounts of information, either create value, cure cancer, something I couldn't do before. Uh, at its essence, it's looking like a different style of IT, about creating value from information as opposed to just keeping it around and trying to reduce costs. Yes, the problem meaning it's always about, oh, I got so much data up and to the right, I can't manage this stuff. And you're saying there's going to be a, a, a bit flip here where we start to look at data as an opportunity. We're trying to meet people who see a petabyte of data as a good thing not as a problem to be overcome. Um, traditional IT is all about using resources more efficiently, less storage, less compute, kind of rationing things. Uh, we're seeing these enormous projects, whether they be in media, uh, genomics, pick your favorite vertical, where how much data can I collect, process, and create new value from becomes kind of the new mandate, rather than just making it a standard IT type. Of so EMC, EMC has some pieces of the puzzle, yeah. right? You picked up Isilon, you picked up Greenplum. Yeah. Yeah, Atmos. Okay, so talk about how the pieces fit together. Maybe you know what you have, what's missing. Who are you going to buy next right. to fill in that that gap? Um, I think it all starts for us, you know, with the information itself, and in a very traditional sense, that's storage. So when you look at how Isilon is built, it's a very different kind of scale out NAS than anything that we've had in our portfolio. Um, when we look how Atmos is built with ad object storage, very different architectural concepts than anything we've ever seen in the rest of our portfolio. On top of that, what do you do with the data? Green Plum for analytics, parts of our IIG portfolio and documentum around creating richness out of it. Uh, we have a lot of opportunity, I think, as we get into these customer engagements, building fuller and fuller stacks from everything from the information management layer to the applications and the use cases, which typically are on mobile devices these days. So what's the fit between big data and cloud? Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, big data usually requires big compute, <laughs> and the two tend to go together. Um, when you have one of these large repositories of information, you can't predict all the time how it's going to be used on any given day. So not always, but a lot of the time, people who are interested in big data also want to have a cloud consumption model to go with it, whether that be a private cloud, a public cloud, or some combination of both. Excellent. All right, we're here with Chuck Hollis at the uh, EMC Analyst event. We'll be covering this uh, throughout the week and, uh, and beyond. This is Dave Vellante. Thanks for watching. Thank you.